Hello there everyone, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to the seventh installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Now in the last episode, we started off some missions with Luis, and we ended off the episode by getting a message from her on our pager that told us that Marty was in her neck of the woods, and that she was worried. So, we're gonna go see if she's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with the first mission today. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. What does that spell, guys? Happy matrimony. Oh, wait, it's Job of the Hut. Who, who the fuck are you? Where's Louise? What? He, he took her. That, that animal, he took her. He's gonna do some wicked to Whoa, her. whoa, calm down, Cartman. Who are you? Mary Jo, her sister. Who are you? Vic. A friend. It's it's nice to meet you. I've I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, oh, don't get any her. fat ideas now. That monster, Ow! Marty, he said he's gonna turn her out. Jesus, it's his own wife. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, but he wanted to turn me out too. I promise you, he did. Yeah, sure he did, Honey Boo Boo. Okay, anyway, gonna leave her to wallow around a worried mess while we take care of stuff Vic Vance style. So, uh, apparently Marty came by and grabbed Louise, and he's gonna take her to his brothel to turn her out. And I mean, what kind of husband is this man? We already know he beats her, possibly her child, but to do that, that's just crossing the line, and it's time we put a stop to it. I'm glad, guys. I believe that today is finally the day we take care of Marty J. Williams for good. So uh, we're going to race on over to the trailer park and see if we can nab him and catch him red-handed. But just going to go ahead and turn around the corner here. And I am packing heat and ready to go. I want to draw out this sucker's death as long as I can. You know, anything is too good for him. Really, it is. Cannot wait to get my hands on him. So here we are at the trailer park. Get ready for a showdown. I know you're here, Marty. I ain't gonna be your whore, Marty! You've been whoring yourself on that Vic, don't you deny it! Well, well it is true. Like a whore, you're gonna be one. Get in that truck! Don't do it, Louise! Shit! Vic, help! Oh, come on, Vic. Really you now? for trouble, Vince? Oh, you just had to go there. What do you rednecks want? Well, you know what? I really don't have time to mess with y'all. I really wish I did because I could teach some of you guys a lesson too. But uh, this is about Marty. So we're just going to go ahead and strip ignore these guys because otherwise we are wasting time that we could be using to catch up to them. So, um, unfortunately the car you're provided, uh, Louise's car, isn't very fast. I suppose if you wanted to, you could change cars out on the way over here, but I neglected to do so because I just didn't have the foresight to recognize that I was going to need a faster car. So hopefully you guys can learn from my mistake. But if you're not, we should have no problem catching up to them anyway. As long as I don't crash into too many walls and other vehicles. Alright. And um, I'm trying to remember some of the finer aspects of this mission. Um, I do believe that you can actually allow them to get ahead of you as long as you stop them before Luis actually enters the brothel. Um, someone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how this mission works. As long as you stop her before she actually enters the building, you're A-OK. -okay. So, um, it's okay that we're lagging a little bit behind, but we do want to catch up pretty soon because I think we're coming right up on Marty's brothel. Um, also starting after this mission, we're getting pretty close to gaining access to Empire missions, and I've decided how I want to handle that. Oh, oh, here's our chance, here's our chance. Okay, fill them with lead. And, um, be careful not to blow up the car, or the truck in this case, um, as doing so would greatly jeopardize Louise, and of course would fail the mission. So, um, there's a delicate balance here of wanting to get at Marty, but at the same time, I think I'm gonna ditch that car because it's all trashed up. Um, we want to trash Marty's truck, but not so badly that it explodes. So, uh, just maintain that careful balance there. And uh, apparently we're going to be getting chased by some goons on the way because we got shot at. But um, like I was saying, after this mission we're going to be pretty close to getting access to Empire assets. Which um, will start generating us revenue. So that's the major fallout after we kill Marty. We'll gain uh, ownership over all of his properties. Which is going to be pretty nifty. It's going to give us a steady flow of income in the game. 
and it's going to enable us to start taking over the entirety of Vice City. And by the end of this uh, series, I do aim to own every single asset and have it maxed out and generating as much money as I possibly can. And let's get Marty right now! Oh! I actually, uh... Did I just run him over? Well, shit. Uh... I kind of envisioned there being a gunfight there, but, you know... Maybe that would have just been a little bit too good for the guy. Anyway, we dealt with him one way or another. Him. How am I gonna look after my baby now? You what? Marty was an asshole. He treated you worse than shit. I'm sorry. I just... Look, baby, hush hey, up. You got look, Vic Vance Marty now. Marty and Ken are gonna be coming for you now. We better get you someplace safe. Oh, my goodness. Well, Marty, you led a failure of a life. You are a horrible, despicable husband. Your business sense was shaky, to say the best. And all around, you were just an asshole that no one really likes the company of. Rest in peace. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and pick up this new property here, courtesy of Louise offering it to us. Look, you and Mary Beth are going to be better off without Marty, you know? Are we? It's just everything's changing so fast. Everything's going to be fine. You're okay, Vic Vance. Oh, I'm better than okay, baby. Alrighty, so now we got the compound safe house. Uh, quite frankly, I don't use this safe house too much in the game. Primarily because for every business asset you acquire, you gain a save location at that business place. So uh, for every building that we inevitably take over, we'll have safe houses scattered all across the city. So, um... I don't ever really make use of this place, but it's there if you want it. It's where you took missions from Phil Cassidy back in the original Vice City, so neat little nod to that, that uh, we get ownership of that property that Phil inevitably comes back into contact with later. But as you can see, we still have another mission to take from Louise, um, and that's going to entail actually acquiring Marty's assets. So now that he's dead, there's no one there to run the business, and it's kind of in question as to who owns it. We're going to erase that question from everybody's minds, and Vic Vance is going to be the new player in town. And so uh, we're just going to race on down to Louise's place right now and go ahead and take that mission. But uh, on the way there, guys, just wanted to say thanks for checking this video out. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope it's a lovely day where you are. I'm recording this on a lovely Tuesday evening, and uh, just enjoying the peace and quiet and kicking back and playing some Vice City for you guys. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into the second mission of today's episode to Victor the Spoils. And oh yes, there shall be spoils. I've been thinking over what you said about me and the baby being better off without Marty, and I've got a plan. Why don't you take over Marty's business? I'm well, duh. No, no, but you could be. Come on, we both need the cash, honey. Whoa, 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 don't be calling me honey now. Vic Vance ain't a one-woman kind of man. Together. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrangle ourselves up a gang. Some hired tugs, and uh, let's see where we can go acquire those guys. Uh, so besides owning assets, we're also going to have the benefit of having our own sort of personal hitman at all of our asset locations. And so uh, we just have the task right now of going to go find and recruit them. But after this mission, we can go to any of our assets and uh, pick a few of them up to help us out with missions or any of that sort of thing. And I do have to say, in Vice City Stories, the AI for uh, your hitmen or your gang members or whatever you want to call them is actually pretty decent. Um, in San Andreas, it was somewhat iffy, but I gotta say, they fixed the AI up quite a bit. Uh, Computer-controlled AI partners or whatever you want to call them are a lot more efficient in this game, and they actually help out quite a bit, depending on the mission you're taking. Alright, so now we went ahead and got these guys, and well, let's grab that ammo. Why not? So we're going to go ahead and go to Marty's Lone Shark office and let him know who the new boss is in town. So alright, you guys, I'm going to name one of you Pete and the other one of you Skeet. Don't know why, but those are just the first two names that came to mind. So Pete and Skeet, let's get on down there and teach him who's boss. Alright, so I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with the, uh, the assets, the Empire missions and all that good stuff. I think I may just dedicate a single episode to, um showing off all the different empires you can create and build and all the missions related to them because it isn't really story related 
so I don't want to waste too much time on it. Come on, guys. But uh, I do want to give some time to explain exactly how Empire assets work, because they are an integral part of Vice City Stories. So um, just plan for some time in the future, maybe not the next episode, but definitely sometime soon. There will be an episode that is solely dedicated to me building my empire here on the eastern half of the map that we have access to. And once we unlock the western half of Vice City, I'll definitely uh, go ahead and make another episode showing me building my empire over there as well. But, um, okay, what do we gotta do now? I guess there's a marker out over there. Maybe I have to go ahead and go to it. I wasn't really paying attention too clearly. So uh, let's just go ahead and hop in a vehicle and take these guys with me. Come on, Pete and Skeet. Let's go do some business. So we went ahead and took out... Oh, maybe we just have to go to another one of uh, Marty's places. Because I know he had a few buildings. He had a uh, prostitution ring, a loan shark office, and maybe a protection agency too. So maybe three buildings we have to take control of. But uh, basically that's all we're doing. We're just running around killing off his, uh, his kith and kin as it were. All his redneck brethren who, I don't know what cesspool they crawled out of, but we are going to send them right back. So, okay, let's go ahead and take out these guys. Let's just let them funnel out the side here. Uh, something about the AI in this game, they tend to all cluster together in such a way where if you have, like, say, a shotgun or a grenade, you can make really quick work of them. Or, um, or just a high-powered uh, machine gun does not too bad of a job, too. Anyway, let's go ahead and run in here as the game instructs us to do so. You know, always follow those floating blue arrows. And you... Get out of my face with that baseball bat. You stay down. Oh, you want some too, buddy? Thought you could hide behind that bar, didn't you? Alrighty, so business is acquired. I believe that may be the end of the mission. Looks good. Check out that gangster you lean. Get it, Vic. The whole damn caboodle's yours. Yeah, but I don't know how to run this kind of thing. Marty could do it, and he was nearly inbred. You'll pick it up. You're no, that's amazing. a very good point. You can do anything. Hey, boss, this is a full-time position. Sure is now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everything's gonna be just fine. Alrighty, alrighty. Vic Vance taking charge in a big way. That's definitely what I like to see. So, yep, now we have this as part of our business empire. I just uh, love the way they phrase that. So, yeah, I guess the game's just going to give a very brief explanation at a distance of all the different things we now have access to. Uh, it really does warrant going more in-depth, so I'll be sure to do that at a later date. But for now, this will suffice. Uh, basically, you can go inside of any of these buildings that you acquire. Uh, there are other rival gangs that have ownership of some of these buildings, and... Uh, to acquire them, you'll have to do sort of like hostile takeovers, but that's pretty easy. And uh, I'll get into how to do that more specifically later on. But inside, you can start missions that are specific to the type of business you own. So if you're doing a prostitution ring, you may uh, deliver your prostitutes to customers and that sort of thing. If you're doing a protection racket, you may hit up the local businesses to pay protection money and that sort of thing. And doing that expands your empire, makes it generate more money and unlocks some cool bonuses for you as well. Um, doing these Empire missions is actually one of the ways to unlock a lot of the alternate attires in this game, so we'll definitely be doing that. Yep, so we can also develop our site, make it, um, instead of a small-time business, we can turn into, like, a high-roller type of business, so basically increases the amount of money that you generate every day. And cool, $1,500! That's a lot of money for this early on. And we're gonna go ahead and get a text message here to wrap off the episode, I think. Oh, payday, empire earnings, 900 bucks. So every day in the game, we will now generate $900. And believe me, after a little bit of work, we will be earning a whole lot more than that. All right, this is the text I was waiting for. BCTN, you have a visitor waiting for you at the airport. Have a good day. Oh, I will. Anyway, guys, I think now is a good time to end off the episode, so I'd just like to thank you for joining me and checking out this video. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to me so you can stay updated when new videos are posted to my channel. Otherwise, guys, thank you once again. My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and I'm wishing you well and signing out. Whoa, what'd you step in there, Vince? I, Vince, I mean Victor. Oh my god, even I'm doing it now. Anyway, guys, signing out. Peace!